fisticuffs a sheep. You ready for this? Greetings and welcome to Renowned Explorers International Society, a game in which we shall explore the world, discover many new things, and generally have a final time uh, in our little airship, which you can see, look, just floating past in the background there right now. Anyway, let's dive in and start a new game. Adventure mode, of course. Uh, we'll go with classic difficulty, select your crew. So basically there are four captains available to begin with. I think you can unlock others as you go or you can unlock these guys as captains. So our options are Anna Proskulyovkova, uh, who is a Russian. Look, here we go, nationality. The character is from present day Russia. Age 25, Anna is a bright young scientist who loves the scary power of electricity. Who doesn't? More than anything. She wants to uncover the secrets of the world. Yes, so do I, Anna. That is something that we share in common. Uh, so I think I'm probably going to go for you. Other options were Harry Walker, a street urchin from my homeland of the United Kingdom, uh, who survived on the streets by pickpocketing. Now he is a cunning and charming leader. He is. Um, he is a cunning and charming leader. I suppose he would probably be my second choice. Also available, Victor Signac, who has, look at that, just a simply magnificent moustache and kind of pointy goatee beard type thing. Uh, probably marking him out as evil, I'm not sure, he is French, but I doubt that's relevant. Uh, also, Yvonne Lefevrier from Canada, Montreal, a cruel mistress, assertive intelligence, the centre of attention. Um, she wants to trample the world under her boots, which is not really my style, so I think we're going to go with... Anna, because um, personally I think she is the most awesome of them all because she's a scientist uh, and she loves electricity. We are an enlightened channel here, women can be in strong leadership roles. We shouldn't even need to mention the fact that that is something that can happen. So there we go, Anna Proskurovkova, it's a shame I can't pronounce her name, we'll just call her Anna from now on, Anna Pro. Uh, so, Anna Pro is our leader. Now we have to select our two crew members. We can take people from wherever we want, but it makes sense to kind of mix and match. So we've got a scientist, and we're going to have to choose which one of these, basically, we're going to do without. And I think I'd totally like to take Charles Templeton along with me, also from my homeland of the United Kingdoms, an ex-sailor, and then ex-butler from Manchester, who wants to rub elbows with the Queen, knows how to throw a punch and an insult. So he's recommended for aggressive or devious crews, as is Anna. So hopefully that may, should mean they synergize relatively well. He's a diplomat and a survivalist. Anna is a naturalist. I don't really know what all these things mean. But anyway, we're going to go with Charles Templeton as our speaker. And then our third crew member, I think I'm probably going to go with a scout. It's either a scout or a fighter. I think a scout gives me a bit more flexibility to be something other than a purely aggressive crew, um, which, you know, I'm, I'm going to try for. I might fail, but I'm going to try. Harry Walker, obviously, is another Brit. I, I've already got one, so we're going to stick with just the one. Molly Jones from uh, Australia. On her very first day at the Society, Molly was suspended for a week after accidentally using a very vulgar word describing Mr. Pinkerton's receding airline. Um, Molly Jones, I like the cut of your jib. Should we go with Molly? We're going to do it. We're going to go with Molly Jones. So we've got Anna, we've got Charles, and we've got Molly Jones. That is our crew. Uh, so it's a rogue two, naturalist two, and uh, diplomat and survivalist. I think that's a pretty good spread. That's a pretty good spread of, of skills and talents. Let us start our adventure. Da -da -da, there they are. Look, there's my awesome crew, Anna. Charles, was it? And I've already forgotten the name of the other one. Um, it's terrible, isn't it? Can I click on them? Molly, there we go. Molly, Charles, Anna. Nice. This is it. You've just got your renowned Explorers International Society membership. Anna wants to make a big entrance, finding the burial site of Saxon kings, found somewhere on the mainland of Britain. But King Egbert's grave remains a particular mystery. We don't need to do the tutorial because I've already done it. Um, and it's, it's fairly straightforward. I'll, I will take you through it, fear not. Time for adventure. Let's see where we have to go. So this is what we're trying to find. The Saxon Kings. Everyone is a little bit nervous. The first expedition is crucial for the crew's confidence. The crew starts out with a low resolve. 
If the crew ever reaches zero resolve, the crew loses its will to explore, and your adventures are over. However, every expedition you complete will give you more resolve. So basically, we have to watch our resolve, um, and if we lose all, all of our resolve, that's it. It's kind of, it's game over, and we have to start again. And I think the game is designed a bit like a roguelite, like, you know, you will, you will try and you will fail, and you will try and you will fail, and you'll generally like gradually build up your confidence and skills and I think you can carry things over although I'm not 100% certain about that so let's just dive in better be careful so this is where we are right now this is our starting location this is where we're trying to get to we have seven food and every time we move basically it's going to use up one food and this is what we get when we go there so it looks like look here this costs us one supplies and there is gold to be found but if we go here it costs us one supplies there is research and gold and a nature challenge an athlete naturalist naturalist sorry or survivalist may be useful uh well i think we have we've definitely got a naturalist because anna is a naturalist so let's do this there's a little team uh, exploring along as the renowned explorers that they are as you walk through some rocky hills, Molly spots a giant bird's nest with the strangely colored eggs. These interesting eggs are certainly worth a bunch, but getting them might prove a challenge since big birds are flying around everywhere. So interesting is in blue, which I think means it's worth uh, research, science up here, the blue ring, and then of course uh, gold or yellow for gold. Um, so that's good. Anna can fetch the eggs. Oh, she's only got a 20% chance. Molly's got the best chance. It's still only 44% chance. But, I mean, it's our best chance. So let's do it. Molly, get in there with your Antipodean um, bravado and uh, general skills at doing whatever it is. It's uh, from base chance, from grit. There you go. It's your Antipodean grit that gets you in there and uh, gives you the best chance of success. So we get this little spinny thing. Are we going to succeed? Oh, yes, Molly! RE means we win. Having proven ourselves renowned explorers, at least in this challenge, we collect our reward. Molly sprints towards the nest. A giant bird sees it happening and dives towards Molly, who dodges its beak just in time. Molly snatches the eggs and hurries back towards safety. Obviously, this is in the time uh, when it was okay to take eggs from nests. Nowadays, of course, you should never take eggs from a wild bird's nest because they might be endangered and uh, it's, it's not cool. Uh, but fortunately for renowned explorers uh, in the, the day of classic exploration it's all fine and perfectly acceptable great continue so there we go we've got ourselves a couple of gold tokens i think those are gold tokens and one study token for research um, and we just sort of like rinse and repeat now so we can we can continue to explore on we want to make sure that we can always get to this with the supply that we have left um, the next step is pretty much much of a muchness uh, but this has three places four places potentially that we can go to after it, and that only has two so let's go here exploring more of this strange island somewhere in the united kingdom a group of sheep is fighting to eat from a slightly greener patch of grass it might be interesting to study this particular patch of grass um let's go i think this is an encounter you approach the patch of grass but the sheep see you as competition and start attacking you show your worth so this is the primary method for resolving encounters when you're not just sort of picking options and making random rolls. We engage in an encounter. We can uh, approach it either in a friendly, devious or aggressive manner or we can kind of mix and match as the encounter goes on. But completing it in a particular manner, in this case devious, will give us an extra reward. They are currently friendly, the sheep. So actually the best tactic to use against them is aggressive because aggressive tends to beat friendly friendly tends to beat devious and devious tends to beat aggressive but you don't have to do it that way you can do you can do it whichever way makes the most sense for you so let's take a look at our abilities um i think they're all basically just the starting abilities uh they're color coded so left to right it goes aggressive devious and then friendly so we can attack these sheep basically using either aggressive devious or or friendly and as i said if we use devious we potentially get a reward but Devious is weak against friendliness. So because the sheep are friendly, if we use Devious, we'll be putting ourselves at a disadvantage. And as this is our first encounter, let's just take it nice and easy. We'll go for aggression. I mean, we didn't want to be an aggressive crew, but, um, you know, you can't fight your nature, apparently. Molly 
is inherently aggressive, obviously uh, being descended from uh, yeah. criminals. And, um, uh, you know, I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. That was an extremely cheap shot at our Australian slash Antipodean uh, friends and it was uh, it was totally unnecessary but as you can see the encounter has gone to brutal because we've used an aggressive move uh, and taken her out and our mood is now aggressive so Anna up next um, you can just move up here and use your lightning shock attack because obviously that's the best thing to do with electricity is to electrocute nearby sheep whenever you have the opportunity of course what are you going to do, Charles? You've just got a fist attack, look. He's just going to come in here and fisticuffs a sheep. You ready for this? Yes, oh, yes. Sir. Marcus of Queensbury rules, obviously. Yes, sir. Um, and that's it. All my guys are grayed out, so I've used all of my uh, actions this turn. And now it is the sheep's turn. There's only one left. I don't think it's going to be much of a threat, in all honesty. It, it, see? It friendlied me, it used a friendly attack on me, which um, reduced my resolve a little bit and also moves my, my my thing, my attitude into friendly. I think, I'm not quite sure how this works. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, Anna, uh, use the old lightning rod again and blast that sheep till it ain't no dang. Job done. Aggressive victory. So I used primarily aggressive tactics. We have dominated our opponents and our result is we gain two encounter. Two red encounter. Let's leave. You successfully calm down the sheep and can finally take a look at the grass. Yes, I calm them down uh, by electrocuting them and, and punching them uh, and indeed stabbing them with like a, a blade thing. So... If you call that calming down, uh, then that's exactly what we did. We calmed them down and then we had some very calm mutton for dinner as well. After careful examination and some tests, it seems the grass contains some special nutrients that attack the sheep, attract the sheep. You can take some with you for their scientific value. Excellent, let's do that. So we gained a science from that. Now we can go down here and gain another science. What are we on, five? So we can go one, two, three. Uh, and then maybe down here or something. One, two. Let's go. Let's go down here. Or oh, actually, oh, we could go up and round. One, two, three, four. Let's do that. Let's go up and round. Look. Start here. The crew suddenly gets ambushed by some aggressive-looking men. These foreign fancy pants aren't going to take all our jobs. Attack! They're charging. Stand your ground. Um, okay, bit of uh, bit of xenophobia there, guys. Uh, it's not really what I would expect. We are a multinational crew. We have a Brit here among us as well, in all honesty. I mean, he's not the captain, but that's fine. Let's just stand our ground. We'll deal with these yokels. And then uh, we will look at upgrading our, our peeps. And in fact, maybe they'll all be able to level up at that point. Defeat all enemies. Okay, so it looks like... Um, Aggressive is, is the preferred method for defeating these individuals. They are also aggressive, so it will be like aggression on aggression, which is just neutral. Or we can use a bit of deviosity. Um, we can terrify. Look, should we uh, should we do it? I'm gonna I'm gonna step in and we're gonna terrify this uh, lumbering brute of a British mainlander here. Look, terrify. Are, we, are you ready for this? <laughs> oh. That was truly terrifying, and I think it has stunned this guy as well. So although we haven't taken him out in a wanna, look, he's now terrified and I think stunned as well. Um, Molly, uh, you just kind of like get all up in this guy's grill uh, with... We're provocative at the moment. Should we, um, should we, just, should we just attack him? Look, here we go. Uh, Have some of this, uh, mate. Going straight for the foot there. Obviously, his foot is his weak spot, although not that weak because he hasn't been defeated. Charles, what can you do? Uh, you're just going to get in here and um, guess Marcus uh, of Queensbury at uh, this guy with a bit of um, terror. Thro he's thrown down the white glove. Oh, look at that. Common villager is absolutely terrified of our crew. So he's gone. He's, he's out of here. We have defeated him through deviousness without having to actually kill him, which is good. Molly, look out. Oh, a, a miss there from the common villager. And again on Anna. Anna took a bit of a blow. Not a huge blow, but you know, it would be it would be preferable to take no more. 
Quick, um, are we going to beat this guy with aggression now? Let's see if we can switch it up to aggression. Markers of Queensbury. Fisty cups. Put them up. Put up your jukes. Uh, and that, etc. Electro shotgun for the win. Is he out? He's out for the count. Look at that. Straight down. Um, possibly, uh, possibly he's been permanently and forever eliminated. All right, Molly, it's just down to you now. Another, another foot attack. A foot attack of doom destroying our enemies. That's it. We've done it. Aggressive victory. You have dominated your opponents. Uh, so I think maybe we got an extra encounter token because we did it through the aggressive method, which is what provided a bonus. I think that's the way it works. Who knows? I may be completely mistaken. With the situation resolved, the crew can continue exploring. Charles is baffled by the fact that these men thought that shepherding or mining was of any interest to you. It's not. It really isn't. Um, unfortunately, we had to we had to batter them in order for them to get that through to them. Which is a shame because it means once again we have failed horribly to be a non-aggressive crew. We have resorted to violence, the lowest common denominator, but at least we can level up, look. Uh, we can either become an engineer tinkerer or grab the engineer tinkerer perk or the naturalist chemistry perk, which uh, is a tough choice. Basically, we either specialize more in being a naturalist or we add engineer uh, and add an engineering skill to our character. Um, they also add increase it to our stats. This one has plus three to speech defense there and Tinkerer has plus one to attack and plus two to speech defense. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with engineer because the increases are you know slightly more generalized plus we get like a different speciality which hopefully will give us more capability in different tests and such as such and such. Uh, we also get a new skill up there as well look. Now we've got Charles. Charles can become a survivalist tracking perk uh, or a diplomat customs perk. Ooh, do we want to improve survivalism or diplomacy? Let's improve diplomacy because, again, we don't really have anyone sort of covering that base. So, diplomacy it is. Uh, this actually ups his grit substantially. But this ups his speech defense and his speech power. So let's go with that. Excellent. Diplomat customs. So Diplomat is now level 2, which is good. All right, Molly, you're up next. Molly, uh, the rogue who has surprise and merciless. We've got athlete tenacious and rogue sneaking. So we can take rogue up another level, which gives us plus 2 to grit. Look, making her even grittier. Uh, or athlete does not add anything to grit. Um, it does add something to attack and defense. But quite honestly, I'm, I think... I think I think Molly's all about the grit, isn't she? She's going to become the grittiest Antipodean uh, since uh, Bruce the Gritmeister Grittinson defeated a horde of rampaging kangaroos uh, using nothing but a pile of grit. Shall we? I, I think so. I think it's the right choice. I think Molly being ultra gritty can only be a good thing. And on that note, I think we'll call it an end there. This has been our first session of Renowned Explorers. There will be more to come in the future. Please do let me know what you think uh, in the comments. Until then, I have been Weird Wizard. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you later. too bad it's pretty windy by the looks of it you know what we're past halfway we're gonna have to turn back it's just what a what this is to be a terrible expedition we've made it what like a couple of hundred feet <sighs> well what, what, what experience